More than 71% of the Danish population is fully vaccinated against COVID-19 and the country is now reporting fewer than 1,000 new cases each day. Well, for more on this, we can speak to Fleming Conrad, a public health expert from the University of Copenhagen. Uh, thanks for taking time to speak to us here on the programme. Is this a cause for celebration or a cause for concern? Do you think the government's doing the right thing at the right time? I think so. And uh, there's certainly public support for the fact that the government are lifting the interventions. Of course, there's also a little bit of concern, but overall a joy that we are now returning to a much more normal um, everyday life. Okay. Denmark's had relatively low infection rates compared to many of its European neighbours. What do you think that Denmark's done right that others have perhaps done wrong? I think there's been a, a, a great uptake on immunisation. So the Danish population have accepted uh, immunisation to a very large extent. We have had a very significant testing uh, program and we have also had uh, early lockdowns and periodic lockdowns that in combination has kept the pandemic under somewhat control. Now you mentioned in the introduction you're currently uh, reporting less than a thousand new cases per day. Is there any fear that the Delta variant might sort of propagate further and cause more danger and you know, how much fear is there of another lockdown? There is certainly a fear um, and, and maybe new variants could also emerge that uh, haven't yet seen their face. So we, have, we don't know where they come from. So monitoring uh, the spread of the um, infection and keeping a very detailed monitoring on the variants in circulation and also having the test center preparedness ready, uh, that, that will be part of the, the forward planning. But, but there is certainly still uncertainty and also some uncertainty among uh, public health professionals that the political system and public support may not be ready for another lockdown if need come. So what lessons then do you think Denmark's learned or should learn then in the face or the threat of another lockdown, far off as it may be? We need to maintain a communication strategy um, on general hygiene measures, and we need to push forward to increase the immunization coverage. We cannot stay at the now 75, 76% who have one or two uh, fully immunization uh, rounds. We need to push that closer to 90. Um, and we have already started the booster immunization program for, for vulnerable individuals, but we need to push forward to get an even higher immunization coverage, else we'll be hit later during the winter.